Okay, well, again, thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, it's been a busy week of contracting, a very frantic week of contracting, given that we've uh, only had two weeks to get a lot of things done, but, uh, and we hope to have some very significant announcements in the near future, but today is uh, a very significant one in itself. Uh, I'm very pleased to announce that Philip Hughes uh, has agreed to come uh, and play for the Redbacks for the next three years. Uh, very exciting in my eyes. Uh, I've had a good association with Phil for a while, and for Phil, for Phil Hughes, the cricketer, uh, will add wonderful depth to our batting. Um, I think the opening combination of Hughes and Klinger is, is a very exciting combination for South Australia and will grab, uh, get us off to some terrific starts this year. He's a very focused young man. He's determined to get back into the Australian team. And the show of faith that he's shown in our system to do that uh, is something that makes me very proud. For Phil Hughes, the young leader, um, we also see as being critical to our system. Uh, he's had the benefit of uh, Ricky Ponding, Michael Clark being around him and Michael Hussey being around him in his early days as an Australian cricketer and he's also very focused on giving that same level of leadership to our young players, Travis Head, Kelvin and James Smith and the like that, uh, that we hope will be making their mark uh, in the near future. So uh, an exciting day for us uh, and hopefully more exciting ones to come. Was it the, um, the number of New South Wales players off Cricket Australia's list that forced him to leave or did he want to come to this program? Uh, my understanding, it's, it's been a very fast process, uh, my understanding is that Phil was looking for a fresh change. Um, you know, he obviously missed out on Cricket Australia contract uh, and, and sees now as the time to really reinvigorate his career and uh, he's been working extremely hard, I know, before his trip to England and he's had some good success already at Worcester. So signs are great that, uh, that he has uh, come out of it uh, very, very well and I know that he's just very excited about what is a fresh change for him. There's been some talk that uh, you guys have been trying to recruit him for a couple of months. Um, was he your number one priority? He was, and I suppose the frustration was waiting for the system to open. Um, we've been sitting on things for a while, and, and it has been a very, very fast process. I mean, Cricket Australia, have, it's been more publicised. It's taken a while to get, uh, get the system sorted and opened, and then we only had two weeks to get it done. So uh, it, it has... It has we're still spinning a bit, to be honest, because it, the system itself has forced things to happen very quickly. Every player knows that. Every player manager's known that. So it's meant that, uh, yeah, there's been some long days. Darren, um, do you see him as someone who's going to be just a very good Shield player, or will he be someone that comes here and then makes it back to the test team? Oh, no doubt about it. Phil's coming here to, to endeavour to play for Australia, and uh, it's wonderful for South Australia that we have him, but uh, make no mistake, his intentions and our intentions are to push him back up to become an Australian player. We believe on the Adelaide Oval, batting, and the facilities and everything that's going on out here, I think it's something that's attracted Phil to this system, to what we've got here set up in Adelaide, so I think that's a testament to South Australian cricket in general. Um, he'll open the batting, and as Jamie's touched on, you know, in my eyes, as the South Australian coach, Michael Klinger and Philip Hughes opening the batting together, I'd like to see that combination opening for Australia too. Would you try and temper his natural technique or just allow him to play his own game? Never temper anyone's natural technique. As a coach, all we try and do is modify and, and massage. Everyone's a different player and Hughes is uni unique. But how exciting is it to get a 23-year-old player that has scored 17 first-class hundreds already and three test hundreds? You know, I couldn't be more delighted as the state coach. This is, has been a strategic plan. Jamie and I sat down and we identified areas we needed to be better and to, to sign an opening batsman of the calibre of Philip Hughes and an international captain of the calibre of Johan Bota. Um, I want to publicly thank and congratulate my cricket manager, Jamie Cox, to pull off Philip Hughes and Johan Bota signings for me is significant and a real positive step for South Australian cricket.